Okay, we're gonna try this service truck tour on this 2022 Ram 5500 limited service truck. Not a whole lot going on in here. Just standard pickup. It's pretty cool. The rear view mirror is a screen on this one, so you can uh, see what's going on back there, even though the tanks block the view. So in here, keep a little bit of tools inside, stuff I want to keep dry. I just pick this up. People swear by these things. But we'll see. Got a light duty scan tool. Prolink edge heavy duty scan tool. We've got a uh, laptop, cords, all that stuff. Here we've got inverter, some magnet lights. These work as one unit or four separate units. We got charger. This thing's kind of cool, magnetic. Got it from Harbor Freight. These little battery magnet deals. Hourglass. Ingenuity. Uh, billet deals, super strong magnets. Pair, you got pliers, nipex, crimpers, dikes. Gotta have the flush cut snap ons. These nipex, I just got into these, they're pretty nice. I didn't know what I was missing. Always using these pieces of shit. There we got rotor brooch, blades, bits, razor knife, punches and chisels, air hammer bits, screwdriver, files, stock adjuster tool, little pry bar. Here we've got wrenches, some snap-on, capri, sunwax, John Deere, just random stuff. Here we got the wrenches we use constantly, metric and standard. Ratchets, snap-on. When it comes to ratchets, got these guys, adapters, like this driveline socket for half inch 12 point to half inch drive, it's kind of nice. Snap on cord drive, 3 8 half inch sockets, 6 point, 8 point hub sockets. Large impacts. I'm a truck mechanic. Trucks and trailers. These are a must-have. Hammers. Here we got rags, torque wrenches, and then seven gloves. All my hardware drawers. My last truck didn't have a second set of drawers, so I got these when I ordered this truck up. It's nice to have more drawers the better, as far as I'm concerned. Got some electrical stuff, transmission input cap bearing, puller. T handles. Just filter pliers. 
little guy comes in handy for adjusting clutches. Hold the clutch pedal down. Rose bed, band wire. Uh, pry bars. Like these little snap on foam. Kind of cool. These guys come in handy. Quarter drive Torx, quarter drive Allen. Cut off wheel. Here, got radio. Coveralls. This is the controller for the end pack unit. You can do just about anything you need to do with that unit from this screen. It's kind of nice. No jumping up here to start your welder up. Nothing there. Maybe put boxes up there later. Mount a cooler up there or something. Got some button head stainless. Metric bolts. Fuses. Cotter pins. Chemicals. Got a cooler, drain pans, got the big, big umbrella in there, keep cool or keep dry, whatever. Here we've got the uh, oil evac, controls for the body, crane, wireless crane, remote, oil evac hose, all your air stuff, the truck has. An 8,500 pound, 8,600 pound crane. It's basically a 7,500 with a bigger winch. I think 21 feet reach. This is like the blow mold deal. Uh, just uh, a bunch of stuff. Crank seal, installer. Old fuel injection test kit. I like these cap plugs, caps, whatever you call them. Seal driver, race driver, um, snap ring pliers, nitrogen test kit for AC systems. These are kind of cool drill bits. They have a step bit on the end of a uh, standard drill bit. Kind of nice. Tap and die, power probe, electrical, heat treat connectors, insert tool, dial indicator, coolant stuff, prep test, and then vacuum refill stuff, some hole saws. Just, uh, I think this is some, um, I don't know, some little deals for installing whatever seals or bearings or whatever you bushings whatever you need <laughs> nice little Amazon set it's pretty cheap I think um, got coolant stuff up there here we've got welding leads like more electrical stuff, some more electrical stuff. Got little McNeilis mixer drawer for all the mixer stuff. Little Peterbilt drawer. Little Cummins drawer there. This is just all miscellaneous stuff. We've got lifting, like endless loop deals. It's a Tiger Tool U joint kit, U joint press kit. It's a five gallon bucket lids, little vacuum booster or vacuum brake bleeder. Three quarter gun, grinder, grease gun, saws all. Some random stuff there. Nice patriotic welding hood. This is made by that same company that makes those 
Milwaukee battery, billet battery deals. Got some nice uh, clamps there. And we got here, got snap-on battery tester. First aid kit for when I inevitably hurt myself. What else we got? Got the ultimate tool. Need this in California. What else? Kind of like this truck has 115 volt outlets. Charge my laptop or whatever. Don't need to use the inverter anymore. Huh? I think that's it. Got the NOCO deal it's supposedly good for up to nine liter i've jumped 15 liters with it this truck has a wireless charge for your phone all the different fancy shit I suggest if you buy one of these get yourself this extension kind of nice good for twenty six thousand on this truck um, yeah, so that is the tour of my dream service truck. So if you got any questions or any helpful information, feel free to share it with me. Uh, yeah, and if the video sucks, my bad. Uh, this is my first time making a video for YouTube.